Hey Paul, it's Red here. Now, as of recently, a load of swimsuit sprites just got revealed for the entire cast of the Danganronpa S Ultimate Summer Camp game that is currently in the works. And since I do watch Danganronpa content here on YouTube, I've naturally been getting tons of recommendations for channels making Let's Rate Danganronpa Character Swimsuit Sprites videos. Seriously, there's quite a few of them already. So here I am chiming in with my own two cents, except I'm going to do things a bit differently. I'm not going to be going through all of the characters' swimsuit designs and rating them. Instead, I'm just going to highlight ten ones that stood out to me. Some for good reasons and some for different reasons. Before I get to it, yes, I'm aware that the sprites you're about to see are kind of low res, but that's all we've got at the moment. So, in no particular order, let's get right to it with... Number one, Kaide Akamatsu. My classical music V3 waifu's wearing blue. She has exquisite taste. Enough said. Number two, Aoi Azahina. It's a pretty sweet outfit, and apparently it's based off some promotional art for the Danganronpa 3 anime or something like that. Only other thing you need is that big flotation donut thing you could buy from the Mono Mono machine in DR1, and that had rounded off nicely. Number three, I think Shuichi's thrown in the towel on being an ultimate detective, and is trying out for ultimate community swimming pool lifeguard instead. Number four, Kamaru Naegi. I like it, but I can't be the only one who looks at the colour of that swimsuit and thinks... Lemons. LEMONS! <laughs> Number five. Nice. Number six, Rontaro Amami. I'm including this one, not because I think it's good, but for the opposite reason, because I think it's actually bland as hell. Poor old Rontaro. He got done dirty in V3, and now he doesn't even get a more colourful pair of swim shorts. Number seven, Sonya Nevermind. Who would have thought that the best DR2 girl would also have one of the best swimsuits? And that's definitely not my pro Sonya bias coming through, how dare you suggest otherwise. This is 100% fact, because I have a PhD, and you can definitely trust everything I say. Number 8. The two Togamis. Who do you think wears it better? Clearly this one. Number 9. Mikon Sumiki. At first when I looked at her swimsuit, I thought she just stripped off her outer garments and looked at her undercrackers and just thought, fuck it, close enough. And finally. Number 10. Cookie Gioma. Can I just say this right now? I'm not gonna lie, the first thing I thought of when I saw his shorts was when you're playing Gary's mod, and sometimes you load up a map and you find that said map has missing textures. Seriously, if you play Gary's mod, you probably know exactly what I mean. So basically, I think Kokichi needs to install Counter-Strike Source, Team Fortress 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2 in order for the correct colour and texture of his swim shorts to actually be visible to everyone. And that's it. That's my selection of highlights from the Danganronpa S character swimsuit sprites. Let's wrap up here, and in the meantime, I'll leave you with some honourable mentions for the character swimsuit sprites that I did like, but I didn't talk about here. Actually, before I go, just um, one more thing. Why did they give Monokuma this swimsuit, when they could actually have had a call back to DR2 and instead used this swimsuit? Really no God! So, just remember in the last episode, we completed another section of the Land of the Living Dead. We're here now, on the edge of this lake or oceanic area, whatever it is. You see uh, that building you see up in the distance there, that's the next doctor's office we need to get to. You also see we've got this giant mech here going down to the water, which we saw last episode in this same area. So, like I said previously, if I remember correctly, my uh, memories of Rayman 3 serve me correctly, we are going to have to fight that in this level. It's going to be a whole underwater section, the only underwater section of the game. He's gone down into the water now. There's some porky banks here. Let's see what they got. No, oh, only <coughs> only ten points each for destroying them. Okay, never mind. Go down glow boxes of plum barrel, plum juice barrel rather over here for you.